Hey guys, it's Kelsey. Today I'm going to do a review video on the Ninja Thirsty drink system. Now, I've had a soda stream for many, many years, so you might be thinking, what compelled you to buy this? Well, I was actually online looking for the bottles for the soda stream, and this somehow showed up in my search. I clicked on it, I was intrigued, and here it is. So it was very much an impulse purchase, and I actually still need my soda stream bottles. Um, but anyway, I bought it, and the reason I bought it was because it makes single drinks instead of the bottles. So, you know, the Soda Stream makes a liter at a time, and I'm very picky about my carbonation. Um, I like it when it's very first made, and then usually once it ends up in the refrigerator, I feel like it's gone flat, and I end up not drinking it and throwing it out. So this was very appealing to me because you make one drink at a time. And you can also control your carbonation. So you can also make just still water with this, but I don't intend on doing that. I definitely like carbonation and I want it to make carbonated drinks. So that is why I decided to go out on a limb and buy it. Um, briefly, I wanna go over just the differences between the Soda Stream and this. Um, so this costs $180. I did get 10% off. If you go to their website, a pop-up will come up. They'll ask for your email address, and then you'll get the 10% off. Um, there's also a referral. If someone refers you, you can save $20, which is actually more than 10%. And I will actually put that referral in the description in case you wanna take advantage of that to save the $20. But anyway, it's $180. Um, you can get 10% off for 20, so potentially $160 for shipping. And it did get here really quick and you get the machine, you get one of the carbonations, and then you get eight of the drink flavor cartridges. So that's what you get for that price. Um, as far as the carbonation goes, you can't go to Walmart or Target to get those canisters like you can with SodaStream. You have to mail them back to Ninja and then they will mail you new ones. Um, so if you buy a brand new one, they are $36.99. If you send it back to get it refilled, um, it's $20.99. And then these are $6.99. So the, these right here supposedly give you 20 servings per canister. So comparing that to SodaStream. The SodaStream, you know, has several different versions of the SodaStream. Um, I think you can get one now for like 80 and then they've got some that are all the way up to 150 So the machine itself is cheaper than this. Um, their canisters, brand new, are $31.99, or you can go to Walmart, Target, exchange them for $16.99. So the canisters are, are cheaper on the SodaStream as well. And then their flavors come like in a bottle, um, and they range from $5.99 to $6.99, just depending on what they are. And theirs are 36 servings versus these, which are 20 servings. So I think you can figure out just from that, this is much more expensive. The machine is more expensive, the CO2 is more expensive, the flavoring is more expensive. So literally everything about this is more expensive than the soda stream. So I'm gonna test it out and decide if that extra expense is worth it. So first things first, your start guide. Um, let's see what it tells me to do. It wants me to get the CO2, which I already got it out. So here it is, you take this off. Okay, so you're gonna put it in here. Um, never done this before, obviously. Okay. Oh. Okay, I got it. That was, it looks really hard. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's in there. All right, so this comes with a water reservoir, which is in my refrigerator. I did this before I started the video. Um, they want you to put, th the water needs to be very cold. So they wanted me to put ice to about here and then fill up with cold water, cold filtered water. So I have done that and it's been in their fridge. So it is cold. Apparently you need it to be cold for this to actually work and there is a cold wa water indicator. So this circle you see at the bottom here, it's blue. Um, that means that it's at the optimal temperature. So if it weren't optimal, it would be white. So we're good to go on that. So we're gonna put it 
here. Okay. Now, I've already picked out my flavor, um, and it is right here. It is the energy one, and they only give you one energy, which is disappointing to me. But, so this is the one I want to try. If you just open it like this, and then install it. Okay, simple as that. The lid just stays there. So you can actually mix and match. I'm not going to do that. This is getting expensive. So we're just gonna stick to one and we're gonna shut that. And so you can customize your um, volume of your drink that you want. So this is 16 ounces, this is a 16 ounce glass. So I'm first going to, we're gonna go, it's already set to my max sparkling carbonation. It's set to 12, which is good. This is the one I need to pay attention to. I want two, I want a lot of flavor, and that should be it. some music during this. There's no color to it, but okay, there's a color. Okay, it is finished. Let's see what this actually tastes like. It is supposed to be peach, oh, I can't tell you, it's in there. It's supposed to be peach mango, I think. Let's see. Oh, it's really good. It's very fizzy. Um, flavor's really good. I mean, it tastes really good. Okay, so to compare it, to my old trusty soda stream over here. Um, so, <clears throat> I was looking at the canister. They're the same canister. One has a soda stream label and one has a ninja label. I'm pretty confident that you would be able to buy the soda stream one and use it in here. Of course, they don't want you to do that, but it's a lot more convenient so you don't have to um, get it shipped to you. You could just go to Walmart or Target. So that is kind of a solution if you want this. Um, as far as comparing the two, if you're not very familiar with the Soda Stream, there's a bottle, which I'm out of them, but it's a liter bottle that you would put here. It makes the water, and then once you have the carbonated water, you add your flavoring to it. So you can control the intensity because you can pour as much or as little as you want in there but you can't control the intensity of the carbonation. It just does one setting for that. So if you wanna be able to completely customize your drinks, this is better for you than this. Um, if you want like a really fresh drink, this is better for you than this because this makes those liters and then they just sit in the fridge until you drink them and to me they're not as good You're two days later, three days later or whatever. Um, but all in all, this is more expensive than the soda stream. Um, I don't know, I'm intrigued by it. Um, I wanna try different flavors and things like that, but this does taste really good. It, it is like a lot of 
kind of fun. Um, and it does take a while to make that drink, but not too terribly long. But all in all, I guess I'm not sure yet. I'm not quite sold on it. Um, again, this is the first time I've ever used it and I've just got this one drink sitting here. So I don't know if I'm in love with it yet, but I'm definitely intrigued by it and I wanna keep using it. Um, I guess let me know if you have this, what do you think about it? Um, or maybe you have the soda stream. Um, I don't know, tell me your thoughts on either of them. Um, I, like again, I just found out about this, so um, I'm sure there's people out there who've had it for a while and already know quite a bit about it. So let me know in the comments, what are your thoughts on it? And if you have questions, I will love to answer those. So thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you guys later.